Hello and welcome back to the channel. I'm so happy you're here. Today's video is a Cezanne haul, my first one of 2022, and I'm showing you some pieces from their archive sale. Let's get started. The first item I picked up from the sale are the Arthur trousers. Now what drew my eye to this most of all, of course, is that paper bag style and the very, very high waist. Absolutely love that style and that is what always draws my eye. I just think it's very flattering on my body type. These in particular are a corduroy style, which is wonderful for winter. They have a really beautiful wide leg. The entire pant overall is a very relaxed fit. The pleated style here in the front really helps with that. Now you'll see these trousers are quite long. I did have to wear a high heel with them and they are just almost brushing against the floor with my highest heel. I would have benefited probably from going a little bit lower on the heel so that they can just flush against the floor which is always the way I like to wear my wide leg trousers. I am five foot eight, almost five foot eight for reference. These pants have a button fly and two clasps and this belt which actually can be removed and changed out for your own belt. I do find that this belt is a little cumbersome in the way that it does loosen as you wear it very quickly and easily like that. I did have to wrap it around itself to keep it from adjusting. These trousers are constructed of 98% cotton and 2% elastane made in Portugal. All the pockets are real front and back. For this size, I picked up a size 38, which is the USA 6. I'd say they're very true to size. I think they fit me quite well, perfect in the waist and very relaxed throughout. When I put these on, I did find them to be extremely masculine looking. I almost felt like I was wearing my husband's trousers, probably due to the pleated front area and also to this corduroy style. So I did wanna feminize this up as much as possible, hence why I'm wearing the heel. Also, of course, because they are so long, the heel does help with that. But I did wanna draw some femininity some femininity to it as much as possible. Also, the top I wore is the Anne shirt, rolled up the sleeves, let a few buttons open here to show a little bit more skin, some beautiful jewelry to tie it all in together and just really help kind of feminize this look. I just picked up this super simple little t-shirt from Cezanne's archives. This is a little horoscope t-shirt, has the Virgo sign on it. And I just always loved this t-shirt. I had my eye on it for quite some time, but I did not want to justify paying the full price for it. So when I saw it pop up on the archives, I just had to have it. I think it's such a fun little t-shirt, really elevates your look instead of wearing a basic t-shirt. I'm definitely not a kind of t-shirts and jeans kind of gal. I always feel like I want to elevate it in some way. And I think this little image here of the Virgo helps do that in such a cute little feminine way. This looked a little oversized on the website, so I did size down to a small. I'm normally a medium in all of Cezanne's items, but I sized down to a small and I'm happy I did because it's a very nice fitted style to it and I really like that. I don't like my t-shirts to be overly bulky or loose and flowy. I do like a little bit of fit to them. You'll see in the cutaway, I've paired this with my Justin trousers, also from Cezanne. I picked them up fairly recently and I just absolutely love these trousers. I think the silhouette of them is so fabulous, it really hugs the body in the right way and also long that you can wear heels with it. And it's a beautifully high-waisted trouser. So I hope Cezanne continues to bring out that silhouette because I really love it. And I think it goes really well with this t-shirt. And to tie the look all together, I've put on this really gorgeous fur little jacket, also from Cezanne, and let's talk about that one now. Here's this absolutely gorgeous little cropped faux fur jacket from Cezanne's archives. I can't believe this was in the archives. I don't know how people didn't just snatch this up right from the beginning because it is so adorable. As you can see, it's quite cropped and it has this beautiful furry texture. If you can see here, just how pretty it is. Just looks really, really luxe and luxurious and soft, really gentle to the touch. I just wanna wear this all day, it just feels like a big warm hug. The closures in the front are these hook and eye closures. They're not snaps, they're not buttons or anything, just hooks and eyes going all the way down. They're a little concealed by all this fur and a little hard to find. I'd say I do wish a little bit that they were buttons instead because I think it'd be a little bit easier. I picked it up in the size 38 and I do hope they have a larger size still available on the sale because I do want to size up. I did find it to be a little tight on my broad shoulders and a little short on the arm length so I would like to size up to help out with those but other than that I do love the length. I love that it is cropped. It is coming up just 
you know, almost mid hip as you can see in the cutaways. It's not fully, fully cropped, but it's not that long either. This is a great little piece to throw on and elevate any basic outfit. Of course, you see it there with a t-shirt and jeans, and this really just takes it up to the next level. By the way, if you're curious as to what I'm wearing, this is the Gaspar jumper and I'm actually wearing it back to front. If you saw my year-end review of all my Saison 2021 purchases, I did label this as a bad purchase because I had not been gravitating to it simply because I found it to be a little too large and bulky and also a little misshapen. Well, I kind of fixed that by reversing it and I find that it fits much better when I'm wearing it backwards. And so I've been getting a lot more use out of it and I think I can almost turn this into being a better purchase now. So I'm so happy about that. And the trousers of course are the Maxime trousers which are one of my favorite purchases from last year. I absolutely love these and I'm still wearing them constantly on repeat and I don't see any sign of stopping. The next item from the archives is this cappuccino blouse. I'm not quite sure if I'm saying that right, but it's a blouse and this is a navy color. It is 100% viscose and it's made in Bulgaria. As you can see, it's a very semi-sheer blouse. It has ruffling on the neckline, a V-neck, and also ruffling down the front. Now, from the website, I initially thought that these ruffles were disguising a button-down blouse, but there are no buttons here. It is just a ruffle detail going down the front of the shirt, and you just slip it on over your head to get into it. The sleeves are rather fitted, and also the cuff is extremely extremely tight. My large hands had a lot of trouble getting into this cuff, but I made it through somehow. The blouse is a little long in length. It's hitting me just kind of mid hip area, but you can easily tuck it in. The one thing I'm finding about these tops, and it's probably the reason I'm going to return this because I have tried this type of blouse from Cezanne in the past, and I've also returned those as well, is that when I tuck it in, and you'll see in the cutaways, I do find that it has this excess material here on the side, and it kind of just puckers at your waist in an odd sort of way, and it always bothers me, and you can easily kind of just try to zhuzh it to the back. I just find it a little off-putting, and that's why I'm probably gonna send this back. And I fall into that issue time and time again with these tops. I just continue to keep trying them, hoping that I will find one that fits better because I do love them overall. I do love this beautiful pattern. I love that it's sheer, but it's not too sheer. You can get away with just wearing a nude bra underneath, which I am doing in the cutaways. I went with a size 38 here, which is a US 6, and I'd say it is very true to size. I had no issue with the fit at all, except for that little bulky issue on the side, which I did mention already. But aside from that, I think it is my true size. I styled this in the cutaway with the Leandro trousers. These are another paperback style. I've had them since last year and I really enjoy them. I think this top looks really nice against the color of those trousers. I think is my favorite of this haul and it is the Lisette skirt. Now this skirt is also corduroy. I guess somehow I was just gravitating to all the corduroy on the sale. It is A-line style, very high-waisted, buttons in the front, and a slit here in the back as well. I love the length of it. It hits me just below the knees and it fits just absolutely beautiful, very flattering on the silhouettes. Now this skirt is 62% cotton, 23% modal, 15% polyester, and it's made in Portugal, which is so funny because I could have sworn that this material is very similar to the Arthur trousers I showed you at the beginning. So I find it funny that their composition is very different. For the fit, I picked up a size 38, that's a US 6. I do love the way it fits. Like I said before, it's just a beautiful A-line silhouette, very nice and high-waisted, fits my waist absolutely perfectly, and I'm really happy with this skirt overall. For styling this skirt, I paired it with the Kate sweater that I also have from Saison. I picked it up last year. It's one of my most favorite sweaters. I love it. Little lace detail down the front, just very dainty and feminine, and I thought it went beautifully with this color, little beige and black action going on there. I just love the way that looks. I think that Kate sweater might still be available. It does come in a couple of different colors. If it is, I'll link it down below. In fact, I'll link everything that's available down below for you to check out if you want to do a little bit of shopping. But of course, this video is just to give you a little bit of styling inspiration, not necessarily to make you go shopping. You'll see in the cutaway also, I finished the look off with these knee-high boots. They're also from Cezanne. Let's talk about those now. 
Here we have the High Amel boot from Cezanne's Archive. This is a black leather boot made in Italy, and I'd say it's a very shiny kind of leather, not necessarily patent leather, but it does have a shine to it. It's a very tall knee-high boot, and it is a rounded toe here with a block heel made of wood or some wood-like material. <laughs> this is a very wide shaft, as you can see, but it also has a zipper down here to help you get into and out of it. I do love this detail here. If you can see it, it's almost a little bit of a Western detail there, but I wouldn't say these boots have a Western theme to them whatsoever. I think they're just a classic black boot. I picked them up in the size French 41, which is the US 10. I'd say I could benefit from going half a size up because I did find my toes to be a little scrunched up in that front toe area. I do have pretty wide feet though, but I'd say an 11 might be a little bit too big, so I'd be right there in the middle at a 10 and a half. I'm not quite sure if they come in half sizes, but that would be much better. Now here's another reason why I might be returning these. The reason is I'm finding that the leather is very, very crinkled and very beaten up. I think you can even see it in the lights here, how that texture, it just looks pretty beaten up and it almost looks like they've been used. However, the sole does not look like it's been used at all. They just look like they've been kind of crushed and, you know, handled a little bit too much. That being said, also, I have a very big issue with the height of these. I mean, I am almost 5'8 for reference, but these are a very, very tall boot. They're not an above knee boot. They are supposed to be a knee high boot. However, they are hitting me at the middle of my knee. So when I am bending my knee, the back here is crushing. And you can see here how it's already been like damaged a little bit. Like this back just kind of crushes a little bit. And I think that's just really, really off-putting, very uncomfortable. And it's actually like destroying the boots. So I don't find that to be the best quality. I think they really would have benefited from taking at least half an inch or an inch off of these boots so that they can come up under the knee. Definitely, if you are shorter than me, you're really gonna have quite a bit of trouble with these because they are gonna be coming up above your knee and I don't think they're designed to be an above the knee boot because they just don't have a slit back here or anything to help you with the bending of your knee. So I think it's just gonna be really quite uncomfortable. I can see why these might have been in the archive because maybe perhaps they were not really their best sellers. Well, ladies, I hope you found this very informative and inspirational. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you are new here. I'd love to have you come back and visit again soon. This channel is all about a chic, feminine aesthetic, and I do lots of styling tips and clothing hauls, including Cezanne. So I'd love it if you please come back and visit again soon. Let me know if you've found any of these items in the archives, if you purchased them, if you already had them in your possession. Let me know what your thoughts are on them and let me know what your favorite piece from this haul was. I'd really love to have a conversation with you in the comments down below. So please leave your thoughts down there and I will reply to you. I really love getting to know you and building a community. I'm seeing a lot of new faces coming in here and I'm so appreciative of it. I'm also so appreciative of all those old familiar friends and faces that I have gotten to know over the last year. It really means so much that you tune in each week and leave your comments and I just love hearing from you and I look forward to it. So many wonderful women out there that I'm knowing your names now and I'm looking forward to seeing your comments week after week and I almost kind of get a little anxious when I don't see your names pop up so that's how much you mean to me I really appreciate it so much well I'll leave you now with a couple of videos on the screen thank you so much for watching again and I'll see you very soon bye